strong. I mean, what kind of man would harm his wife in the darkness of the night, leaving her to bleed as he scars her for life, having to cover up her bruises as she tries to hide them from sight? She is so focused on her responsibilities, but fails to realize that he also owes her rights. See, as a husband, you're meant to provide, protect, respect, guide, and guard her. You are her garment, her life. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go find Longo. And we are Fine and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there for giving us reactions. And we also wanna thank people who subscribe to our channel do the real SMP. And thank you so much for for letting us get to six thousand subscribers. We want to get to 10,000 in two days, and I know we're gonna do that soon. Yes, <clears throat> it's gonna happen, trust me. I know some people don't believe that, but it's gonna happen. And um, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscription button and make sure to just hit that notification bell just next to subscription button. And uh, you know what? We are a couple and we do reaction videos and we actually sometimes do vlogs and sometimes we actually do challenges and whatnot and yeah so today we're gonna do a reaction and this one right here was suggested by the one and only the 007 spy this guy this guy is a spy for real in my life for sure anyway spy we're gonna do your reaction and today we're gonna react to uh the weakest home, domestic violence, spoken word. So without any further ado, let's get it. Wa buyut, ankabut, the weakest of homes is the home of the spider, if only they knew. And it's not just because of the web, but also for what happens inside it too. The most fragile of homes, home to the most ferocious of family feuds, a husband and wife relationship that is solely based on being used for consummation. See, as soon as they finish mating, the wife would then consume the body of her own husband. It's disgusting and so can the children be too. See, as soon as they mature, they would chew upon their own mother as a source of food. It's sinister, it's crude. I don't want to imagine it, but it's true. And such the examples that are used, not because God can be cruel, but for God to prove that the weakest of homes are those in which the inhabitants are abused. See, marriage isn't meant to bring happiness, and the home is a refuge of tranquility and comfort to all those who walk through. And if you ever do happen to fall into disputes, you must learn to understand that the marriage isn't always about you. Rather, it's learning to live together as one although we are still living together as two. In a home where everybody knows that they belong, with love, kindness and mercy so we could all just get along and there's no need for fighting every time something small goes wrong. Because you can't build a home upon violence and then expect it to stand strong. I mean, what kind of man would harm his wife in the darkness of the night, leaving her to bleed as he scars her for life, having to cover up her bruises as she tries to hide them from sight? She is so focused on her responsibilities, but fails to realize that he also owes her rights. She as a husband, you're meant to provide, protect, respect, guide, and guard her. You are her garment, her lifelong partner, her prince charming who should charm her, her knight in shining armor. But a knight has turned into a nightmare as he spends his nights trying to harm her. As she begs him on her knees, please, I need you to be calmer. I urge you, see, patience is a virtue. I never even heard you. I promise I didn't mean to hurt you. Please don't be mad. And please don't let the kids see, because it's not right for a dad. It's sickening and it's sad that such scenes are happening in reality within the homes of so many broken families. It's a calamity that we forgot what the meaning of marriage is. Did you forget that the best of you in character is? He who is best to his wife. The best of advice from the one who never harmed a servant, child or wife in his whole entire life. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
He was the best of examples in how to treat a woman right. See if his wife had cooked something he had liked, he would eat it, and if he didn't, he would leave it without expressing an ounce of dislike. He would even refuse an invitation to food until his wife had also received an invite, and he would help around the house too just to make a workload light. He was the pinnacle of being polite. And he taught us that the strongest of men is not he who knows how to fight, but rather he who restrains his anger right at the moment of strife. So have patience, brother. I mean, you wouldn't allow it for your own mother, daughter, or sister. You wouldn't bear to watch another man punch and kick her, so the next time you even think to cause her trauma and hit her, you need to understand that she too is another man's mother, daughter, or sister. So dear sister, no human being deserves to live a life of violence alone. So if he doesn't treat you with kindness, don't live in silence trying to fight this on your own. Rather seek help from God first and don't be afraid to then pick up the phone and let your people know that you are no longer willing to live in the weakest of homes. Violence against women? Islam says no. What do you think? I live for such things. Mm -hmm. I just love such messages. Just they just make so much sense. I wouldn't just apply whatever he said to um marriage. I would apply to relationships in general. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just not right to abuse someone that you're with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be physically, it can be mentally, it can be emotionally, whatever the case. Just appreciate the person that you with. Appreciate them. What do you think before I go further? I mean, uh, to be honest, violence is not, um, is not good, to be honest. When you create violence, you create a lot of hate, you create a lot of... Uh, a lot of grief, a lot of uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, no, I mentioned hatred. A lot of um, act of unkindness. <clears throat> I don't really understand why somebody would want to hit one person just because she did something wrong. Those but things can be. Yeah, it happens in families and out there. Um, I believe you can talk things out. But if you go to an accident of laying a hand into somebody's uh, body, I mean that you've gone overboard. I mean, you, who gives you the right to do that? You get it. It's not a property. It's not your property. Because you're forgetting it's that not your. Glad you made that point. It's not your property. It's not something that you bought it. You get it. So you can use it anyhow. Because people easily forget mm -hmm. when you when when you make up person your girlfriend, when you make up person your wife. Yeah, I think you uh, forget people, everything. people actually forget maybe, that they've got rights, like he said. Yeah, yeah, true. I think people forget such things. I mean, uh, I don't know. You never know what goes into this people's mind to an extent of going and beating this, beating their wives. And, and but again, <clears throat> no matter what goes into your mind, never lay a hand into into a woman. Trust me. Oh, man. Hmm? Yes, or a man. Uh, uh, I mean. Any type of violence is not good. You can solve things out. You can sit down and talk them out. If you can't talk them out, there's a there's there's way of you guys you're separating ways. You get it. No need of staying in a place whereby you feel. Rule number one: If a man hits you, that's just a red light of telling you just leave. No, not a red light. Just just leave. But check. You get it. Just okay, leave. Man, I feel like before you let things get that far. You've got if many man, chances to talk about things. It's not like the first time? it's not like we start dating. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we are here going to hit me. I don't think so. Okay, so okay, okay, you're giving it a, a grace period of how long? So okay, let's say this this couple they've been together for like five good years, mm -hmm. and then in that five good years, that's when you start seeing the true colors of this man hitting you. All the five so years you've been fine. Yeah, you've been fine. So what? Yeah, the fifth year. That's when it starts. 
it starts heating it. This is what I'm saying. Before mm. you let it get that far, mm -hmm. always find the solution. I would say, if we argue, let's just calm down and talk about things. So now, if you, if you think this man hates you uh, after five years, no, after he, five years, all these four together, years, what might be together? Okay, what might be wrong? Or what went wrong? So. Or if you feel like hitting that woman, walk away. Because you could, I only say you could end up in jail. Look. For something that you can avoid. You know they're good men out there. You can yeah. save your relationship just by walking away. You know they're good. Quiet. Okay, okay, for instance. Yeah. You know this man is a good man. You've been with this man for almost five years or four years. And then this day he just hits you. What do you think about that act? Do you actually start saying, you know what, I'm leaving this house? Or you try to find out. That's a question. You try to find out what's the problem after living with him for almost four years. Will you try to find out or will you try to be like, oh, you know what, I'm leaving the house, if you hit me and rule number one, if you hit me, I'm going to leave, I'm going to go leave. out of this house. There's nothing to find out, you leave. You leave. There's so nothing no, to find out. You'd so rather no, someone finds out? So no talk. Would you rather someone finds out? Um, look, this is what I believe, yeah? If somebody hits you, don't say that you're leaving. <laughs> Listen, listen. No. Of course you will leave, but find out why did you hit me? You get it? You find out in court or somewhere else. I anyway, I mean, yeah, okay, that's another solution. This is why I say that's another solution. What, but you know what? If somebody hits you, whatever you're saying and apply it to your future children. If somebody, of course, of course. Um, that's what you want them to do. Someone no, hits no, them no. and they say, let, Alia, you, let me find out why he hit me. No, no, no. Alia, Alia on this video said, if somebody hits you, just leave. No one has a right to hit you. Either a lady or a man. If somebody comes But just violent, don't let your relationship become that bad. Yeah, of course, of course. Don't let it go that bad. Another thing he said, he gave an example of what guy? Muhammad? Mm -hmm. Muhammad and the wife or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like, like the point being, if the wife is not, if he's safe food and the wife is not safe, he doesn't eat. There's some men out there that yeah. will be fine, whether the wife is starving out there, whether the wife, as long as they're comfortable. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a really good act, to be honest. If you, uh, if your man is served and the woman is not served, wait until probably. I don't know if uh, okay. this entire thing was de dedicated to men or something, but it's like. No, he, no, he talks to uh, it's about, okay, weakest home, domestic violence. Okay, we do understand that. No, but it's about how a man should act, yes? Probably, probably, that's the most, uh, according to what he was saying, but it should also go another way. Because also it's men out there, yeah, there are men out there also do so much and they get little, uh, let's say, attention. Which, I don't know, probably it's depending on what they did or something. I like the point where you say that um, when, 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 uh, when a woman uh, d does something, a man's supposed to go and help so that it makes her work lighter as an excellent to get it. <clears throat> Which is really, which is really good. I mean, if if you find your woman is having a lot of workload, of course, feel free to go and help. But if you find that she's fine and she can handle it, then it's good. I mean, it shouldn't create a lot of Just sweat. Just because someone can handle it doesn't mean you shouldn't lend a helping hand. I'm just saying, no, she can handle it. I'm just adding up what you're saying. I'm not just yeah, of course. trying to. I mean, yeah, of course, like, if she can handle it, I mean, fine, you get it, if she can handle it, but if there's so much, I mean, you, you can see if there's so much work that is, is needed, you can just go I and help her out. There's so much work. Anyway, okay, it doesn't have to be so much work. I mean, just, just have that, um... Help your heart. Helping, help. Consider it heart. Yeah, consider it heart. Even, 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 um, I mean, yeah, I consider that, 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 that should be that. I mean, that, that point is really, really, really amazing. But women shouldn't take that as an advantage, you get it? Because some women look at it like, ah, okay, so that's being said like that, ah, okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that everything is just so much and whatnot. Some things that, 
uh, yeah, you can do it all by yourself. You get it? As a woman, man. Also, as a man, you can do it all by yourself. You can't tell me you can't cook rice by myself. Come on, man. Come on, men out there. And you yet, can cook rice. And yet, behind every yeah. successful man is a woman. So you can't do it by yourself. Of you course, of course, you know. of course. There's a saying that the, 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 there's a book that I was reading. It says you can't be successful by yourself. Like you can't get to us, you can't get to that level of success all by yourself. There must be somebody, somebody who actually pulled you up, or maybe helped you out and whatnot. The same thing that happens in in, in this journey or in a relationship, <clears throat> whereby if a man, if you see a potential in a man, and you feel like this guy, if I go harm with this guy we're going to be successful man it's not about him being successful it's about us being successful at the end of the day uh, yes i mean men are the if i mean if you you can cook rice by yourself come on man you can cook uh you shouldn't wait for your girlfriend or wife to come all the way to start cooking rice or start cooking whatever thing you get it i mean it's, it's such an easy thing make things easy for for your for your girlfriend or your for your for your wife or whatnot. Another thing also, women out there it shouldn't be an issue just cooking rice. Rice should be an easy thing to cook. Should it shouldn't be nowadays there are a lot of you know uh do you call this? a lot of tutorials on how to cook. You can just go and you get it because people nowadays tend to 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 get so busy probably on social media and and forget and forget the, 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 the what the important things that keep keep uh, keep uh, men in the house. You get it? I mean, our, our way towards a man's heart is what <laughs> it's food. <laughs> so if you can anyway, throw back to the video, if you, but anyway, back to the violence thing. It's not good. Just don't. Yeah, it's not. Don't good. be afraid to speak out. Yeah, don't. If somebody hits you, you're you allowed to go out there and speak out. Go to the nearest police station, just let, it, let the people know and file a court case or something like that. You get it. I mean, it shouldn't be a. Okay, they don't have to go to court, you can just separate. By separating, that means you have to go. Okay, if you're married, then you have to go to court. I don't know how it works. Yeah, if you're not married, you can separate ways. I mean, there's no uh, there's a no brain out there. You get it. So, anyway, guys. Um, this is a good message over here. I should go out there to everybody. Anyway, if you feel like you liked this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And what do you feel about the weakest home domestic uh, oh, violence video? Just let us know in the comment section. Is it good to hit your woman? Is it good to is it good for a woman to hit a man? Just let us know in the comment section. Do do women nowadays take advantage of that situation, or do men take advantage of that situation? Do men know uh, should learn how to cook rice? Should women learn how to you know throw down in the kitchen? Let's let us know in the comment section what you think about the whole entire session that we had. And the most important thing, guys, don't, uh, and the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, guys, we'll see you on the next video and peace out.